The half wall is gonna have another feature where it can come down. Hi, I'm Danner. I'm a computer engineering student from Huntsville, Alabama. When I was a kid, my family built this shed in the hills of Southern Tennessee. It sat dormant for nearly 20 years and began to deteriorate. I'm currently on a mission to restore the shed and convert it into an amazing tiny house. With the help of my dad, I'm learning the basics of construction, restoring the land, and documenting our story. This is Abandoned Shed to Tiny House. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick update video and fill you guys in on some of the things we've been working on. Last week I actually got my first surgery ever. I had my tonsils removed and it's definitely a painful surgery and a, a tough recovery process. So I've pretty much been stuck in bed for the last week. But today I was feeling a little bit better so I wanted to come up and show you guys this trap door thing that we were working on before I got my surgery. So we've decided that we want to do a raised deck out back because we have this really amazing view overlooking a valley and we just think it'd be really cool if we had a deck we could go out and sit on and maybe put a hot tub up there eventually. But the problem is there's not really much space to put a door over here at the top of the stairs. So we're gonna be putting a door in between these two windows and right underneath there's some stairs. So we're gonna need a way to walk over to the door. And so we are coming up with this trap door system. So enjoy this little build montage and then I'll give you a quick demo of our mocked up trap door thing. <laughs> So if you remember from the stair episode, we replaced the stairs that were originally in the shed with these new stairs that'll meet building code and have a landing. And originally there was floor all right here and we cut it out, but we kind of left it a little rough. So we started out by cleaning it up a little bit. We had these two by 12s and they had been sitting outside. So we ran them through the planer just to clean them up a little bit and we kind of surrounded the stairway with them. So upstairs in this room, we're gonna have a half wall that goes around the stairway. So that's gonna kind of divide the room from the stairs and keep you from falling off the edge. But the half wall is gonna have another feature where it can come down and it turns into floor. And we'll put the same finishing material as we do on the floor. And then we'll be able to access the door that's right here that goes to our raised deck. So this is just a mock-up for right now, but the idea is that it'll be kind of hidden into the half wall in the room and we can put it down whenever we need it. And when we don't, it'll just be hidden. We've also been thinking about some ways we can assist putting this down. One way is to use some springs so it goes down kind of soft. We're also thinking maybe we use some linear actuators or some kind of motorized system to automatically put it down when we push a button. So we're gonna continue thinking about that. And if you guys have any ideas for that, for that, just let us know. So another thing we're thinking is having some kind of handrail hidden in the wall right here that we can slide out just so you don't feel like you're gonna fall off the edge when you walk on this thing. But I think it's gonna end up being pretty cool. All this stuff is temporary. These blocks are temporary, these hinges. Um, we really just wanted to see what it would look like and try some stuff out. Another cool thing about these two by 12s is these are the same 2x12s that were here 20 years ago when we were building this and 
we ran them through the planer, it just kind of like brought them back to life again. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I also wanted to announce that we're just about to order our first shipment of lumber for framing the additions. We're going to be getting our lumber from a store called Marvin's here in Fayetteville. We told them about our channel and they really liked the project and they're going to be helping us out a little bit. And they're probably going to be delivering the wood here this week and we can go ahead and start, get started on the framing of our additions. So yeah, the guys over there at Marvin's are really awesome and a big shout out to them. Also, shout out to the patrons for helping support the channel. Lumber is really expensive right now, so anything that we receive helps a lot. You also might have seen in the background of some of our videos that we've been driving around a Honda Cross Tour with a trailer on it. I have bad news about our car. Someone pulled out in front of my dad, ran a stop sign, and totaled the car, but Everyone was okay. It was definitely an inconvenience. But the good news that came out of it is we decided to get a truck. We got a 2006 F-150 and we're gonna be using that for picking stuff up and it's definitely gonna be a lot better than a Honda Cross Tour with the aftermarket trailer hitch on it. All right, well, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video, but you guys can expect a video really soon for framing the additions. Thanks to everyone who's watched and subscribed and I'll see you guys next time.